हेलो दिस इज डॉक्टर सी एल पाटिल एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंग्लिश सी कैब ए आर एस ए नामदार आर्ट साइंस एंड कॉमर्स कॉलेज एंड पी जी सेंटर फॉर वीमेन विजयपुर द प्रेजेंट लेक्चर इज एन इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑफ डब्ल्यू बी एड्स most discussed poem leda and the swan modern english poetry may not have witnessed great masters like homer dante shakespeare and milton but the age is rich from the point of matter and manner many a number of poets have made efforts in the form of the decadents the pessimists the realists the imagists the georgians the moderns the war poets and so on and have contributed to the growth of poetry in the modern period among these poets the two most prominent poets are w b eats and t s eliot when these poets are compared critics have placed w b eats higher than t s eliot because of the quality of poetry which passes through various phases of development maturity and his contribution to english poetry his creative range is immense and writes poetry based on the ancient legends mythology politics history and makes new myths of his own one such poem is leda and the swan leda and the swan is in petrarchan sonnet style written in 1923 that fuses mythology history and vision eats depicts cyclic movement of civilization and retells the story from greek mythology that is the story of leda and swan wherein leda was the mother of mankind zeus or jupiter the god of gods appeared in the form of a swan and raped her as a result of this act were born heroes and heroines who laid foundation for the new civilization of athenians leda became mother of four children clementra helen castor and pollux thus this mythological story has become the theme of the poem leda and swan is classical in its elegance and choice of words everything is dramatically conceived concentrated and condensed the result of this is that poetry rises to the lofty heights the poem has symbolic expressions the poem is divided into two parts octave which contains two quatrains of four lines each and sestet which contains 
six lines of two triplets. I begin with the first quatrain. Quote, A sudden blow the great wings beating still Above the staggering girl Her thighs caressed by the dark webs Her nape caught in his bill He holds her helpless breast upon his breast Unquote. Zeus comes in the form of a swan with his wings beating. He sweeps over the staggered Leda and holds her. He catches her nape in his beak, caressed, and kisses her thighs. Then he holds her helpless breast upon his breast. He embraces her and then starts the savage act of rape. Leda is too much terrified by this unimagined sudden attack of the swan, but she feels his beating heart and begins to get passionate. In the second quatrain, AIDS raises two questions. Quote, How can those terrified vague fingers push the feathered glory from her loosening thighs? And how can body laid to that white rush but feel the strange heart beating where it lies? W.B. Yeats wants to tell how this terrified Leda started feeling his beating heart. She becomes passionate both through heart and body and surrenders herself. The second part says that, which contains two triplets. I go with the first triplet. A shudder in the lions engenders there the broken wall, the burning roof and tower and Agamemnon dead. Unquote. In these few lines, Full of a sense of destiny is presented in the fateful moment. Leda has conceived and the chain of history starts. Leda lays eggs which hatched into two daughters and two sons. Clemenstra and Helen and the war gods Castor and Pollux respectively and thereby brought about the Trojan War and Agamemnon's death. The story of the Trojan War is quite complex but in brief I can tell the Greek Helen the most beautiful woman born in the world allowed herself to be seduced by the Prince of Troy, Paris. Some say she eloped with Paris to Troy and some say she was kidnapped by the Trojans. Whatever it may be, the Greeks besieged the city of Troy. In other words, this act of feminine folly led to the destruction of Troy. Another beautiful woman, Clemenstra, 
the wife of Greek leader Agamemnon betrayed him and had him murdered. His death was avenged by his son who slew Clemenstra in turn. Here it is important to know only the war's lasting impact. Death and destruction. It brought about the end of the ancient mythological era and the birth of modern history. In the second triplet, quote, Being so caught up, so mastered by the brute blood of the air, did she put on his knowledge with his power before the indifferent beak would let her drop? The last few lines tell us that Leda was so mastered by the brute blood of the air that she bore children to that union. But the poet wants to know whether Leda shared the gods and knowledge alone with his powers before he left her indifferent and selfishly after the rape? Possibly, it may not be, because power and knowledge do not coexist. They are mutually different. We conclude by saying that, as an interpretation states, that Leda and the Swan are the counterpart of Mary and the Doe who ushered in the Christian civilization. It says, the Christian era is coming to an end. It is bound to be followed by a more violent age as it happened in the Greek era. AIDS has reconciled the opposites of spirit and flesh, human and superhuman, knowledge and power, brute force and feminine helplessness, creation and destruction, and so on. The poem is a specimen of finished product. The structure of the sonnet is Petrarchan with a clear separation between the first eight lines that is the octave and the remaining six lines that is the sestet. The rhyme scheme of the sonnet is ABAB, CDCD, EFG, EFG. -E 